Welcome to the all new Automower Answers presented by Robotic Mower Services, LLC. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the models of automowers that are going to be available in 2022. So, our first mower here is the 115H. You have two options when buying the 115H. You can get it as the standard plain Jane version, which would have Bluetooth connectivity to the Connected Home app. Or you can get it with Automower Connect installed, and then you can connect to it through a data package. And anywhere basically you have you have um, internet service on your your smart device, whether it's a tablet or your cell phone or a, you know like an Apple Watch, you're gonna be able to connect to this mower. And you're gonna be able to tell it to start, stop, change settings on it, and all that good stuff uh, with the Automower Connect feature. Now that's the difference between the two prices. There you can see the one without Connect is about $200 cheaper. Both of these come as a DIY uh, install package. So you get the mower, the charger, uh, everything you need to basically set this mower up and have it start mowing your lawn. That means some wire, some staples, some connectors. You don't have to worry about having somebody come out and put the wire down for you or any of that stuff. You're going to be able to do it all on your own because it's going to have everything supplied in the box with the mower. This is a mower you want to use on a fairly simple lawn. You don't want to have steep hills or inclines. The flatter, the better. The more open it is, the better. Four tenths of an acre is what it's rated for. So if you're under four tenths of an acre, you're going to be good to go. It has a maximum cutting height of three and a half inches. So if you need a high cut mower, um, this is going to be a good option for you. It only has one guide wire. And your remote start locations will have to be along that guide wire. You can't use the boundary wire to, you know, have the mower go out from the charging station along the boundary wire and then start mowing. It will only do that on the guide wire. So sometimes you have to get creative with your layout of your guide wire to get those uh, starting locations you want to be able to hit all the areas of your lawn. Uh, as we said, DIY installation, and this one is hose washable. This is a, a really good, straightforward, simple machine. If you have a small, simple lawn, this is a good option. You're not going to break the bank. It's reliable. It just goes out there and does its thing. Um, you know, again, hose washable, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet. It's so simple, there's not a whole lot to really go wrong with it. As long as it's installed properly, it's going to do the job. It's going to mow your lawn, and that's the whole point of it, right? So it's a good option, um, you know. The issue people have with this mower is that they buy it based on price and they're expecting it to do what a $3,000 mower, $3, mower is going to do and it just doesn't work that way. So the key with the 115H, if you're looking at buying one, is make sure you're realistic with your expectations of what this machine can do and should do. Next up will be the 315X. This has all the X-Series goodies and bells and whistles on it. It has the headlights, it has automotor connect, it has GPS mowing capability. GPS mowing capability does not mean that it will mow without boundary wires. It must have boundary wires. So the 315X, it is a low cut mower. It has a maximum cutting height of two and a half inches. Um, same size working area as the 115H, that 0.4 acres or less. But it's going to be able to handle a bit more complex layout. You know, if you've got to get through a gate, if you've got to go around a bunch of obstacles in the lawn and things like that, or if it's broken up, you know, you have to go through a gate to get to another part to, to mow, or you have to cross the driveways and sidewalks and stuff like that. This is going to be a good choice for that because it just has a, a little bit more intelligence to it than a 115H. You have three remote start spots on this mower. Uh, you can use the guide wire, or you can use the right or left boundary wire to send the mower out from the charging station to start along any of those wires. And, you know, that way you can get to your different zones and areas of your lawn and get full coverage. So, again, the 315X is a mower that's been out for quite a few years now. Very good feedback on it. It's been a solid, reliable mower. And this is another good one for a, small, a smaller lawn. And especially if you have a, a bit of complexity to it, this would definitely be one to look at rather than the 115H based on the fact that you have a more complex lawn. Up next, we have a mower that's going to be new to the lineup in 2022. It's going to be coming here to North America. Um, big seller over in Europe the past year. And that is the 415X. You're looking at those, those specs there. And I know you're probably saying, 
looks the same as a 315X. It's got the same stuff. You know, why is this such a good deal? You know, why why are you having such a big fit about this mower and, and how great it's going to be? You know, it, it's one of those things where on paper, yeah, there's a lot of similarities, but man, the performance, worlds apart. You're getting all those features, like I said, the, uh, the four tenths of an acre working area, like a 315X, the same cutting height, one guide wire, three remote start spots, headlights, automatic connect, GPS mowing capability, GPS theft tracking, all that stuff you get the 315X. You're also getting new features like frost guard, target cutting height. You're getting better connectivity with the app because the app is going to have more features available on it. Uh, just like the all-wheel drives have some more features on them on on the app, you know you can do with those mowers that you can't do with the other auto mowers. This is going to be similar to that, and we've heard that there's going to be some other goodies, uh, some other features that are going to be added to that package to make it even better and even uh, just more exciting to use. So the best part about this is, as you can see, it's only two hundred dollars more than the three fifteen X. And one of the big things that the 315X was missing all these years was electric height adjustment. You could do all that stuff from the app, but you couldn't change the cutting height from the app, could you? This has electric cutting height. So you can change your cutting height from the app. That's going to work into that target cutting height feature. So this is going to be a really popular model here in North America. This is going to be the king of the, the small lawns the small mowing areas because it's going to be a big step up from the 315X. And the only reason you would really go away from this is if you absolutely had to have a high cut mower. But we believe this is going to be the go-to choice for just about anybody that has that half an acre or less lawn out there because of just the complete package you get with this mower. Next up, we have the 430X or 430XH. Really the same mower. The only difference is one inch in the, the maximum cutting height. Your 430X has a two and a half inch maximum cutting height. The 430XH has a three and a half inch maximum cutting height. Features, the inner components, all that stuff, the same on the two mowers. Uh, price is the same on the two of them. They rate this at eight tenths of an acre. Uh, you can, yeah, you can definitely get away with eight tenths, maybe a little bit more, depends on how complex it is. Two guide wires, five remote start spots, automatic connect, GPS tracking for, you know, if somebody tries to steal it, uh, GPS mowing capability, headlights, you know, all that stuff in this package. This has been a good, good, reliable, solid um, model for quite a few years now. You know, the original ones came out, the 430X, they didn't have any headlights on them, and uh, they actually didn't even come with automatic connect originally. And there's still a bunch of those out there mowing around. You know, they, they hold up very well. The high cuts came available in 2019. You see a bunch of them out there. Anywhere where you have to have the grass cut a little bit higher. You know, you got that St. Augustine down there in Florida or Texas, the places where it could burn up if it's cut way too low. That's a good option there. But, yeah, you, you really can't get wrong with a 430X or a 430XH if you have uh, uh, about eight-tenths of an acre or less. You know, it's that three-quarter of an acre mark. If you're up that high then this is going to be the mower for you. You know, it's going to be able to do a good job maneuvering around stuff. Um, this is a mower where you're going to be able to watch it get a lot smarter week after week, and it's going to really surprise you how good of a job it's going to do. Next up is the 450X or the 450XH. Same thing with the 430X, 430XH, where your difference is one inch in the maximum cutting height. You got two and a half inches on the X, two, uh, sorry, three and a half on the XH, and Again, good, reliable, solid machine. 2016, they came out with these, and there's still a lot of them out there running around because they just do a fantastic job. The step up from the 430X or 430XH to the 450 gets you a second battery, so you get a longer runtime between charges, and you get ultrasonic sensors. The thing with the ultrasonic sensors is that they're on there to pick up objects, or I shouldn't say pick up, but to sense objects in front of the mower so the mower can slow down before it hits those objects. Why does it need to slow down? Because it has a faster ground speed than all of the other uh, models of, of auto mowers. The, the 50 series, the 450X, 450XH, 550, 550H, they have a faster ground speed 
they use those ultrasonic sensors to slow down so it's just not a uh, high-speed collision with any objects that they might bump into, which doesn't harm the mower then and is minimal impact on the object that it's running into as well. So again, 450X has been out there since 2016. 450X H's came out in 2019. This is the go-to model for a lot of people. That one and a quarter acre working area that Husqvarna suggests. We know a lot of people that that they know what they're doing and they've been able to push it to do a bit more than that. And we know a lot of people that have only a quarter acre mowing area, but they'll get the 450X or a 450XH because they might have to go through fences and and cross other uh, obstacles, you know, driveways, sidewalks, and stuff like that. They need those three guide wires. And they know that with this mower here, they can send it out to mow. It's not that big of an area, and it's not working that hard, so it's going to last them a long time. So as much as we love that 450X and 450XH, what would be a reason not to buy one of them? Well, if you had steep hills, and that's where the 435X comes in. All-wheel drive and articulating, rated for 9 tenths of an acre working area. That could be that could be decreased if the entire working area is a steep hill. And at nine tenths of an acre, uh, at first it might struggle to cover all that, but once it learns it, you know, give it, you know, three or four weeks, it's gonna cover it no problem. Um, the more flat areas you have in there mixed in with your hills, the better this thing's gonna do, the faster it's gonna cover it all. It only has two guide two guide wires compared to the three guide wires on the four fifties. Uh, but you do have the five remote start spots, automatic connect, headlights, GPS theft tracking, GPS mowing capability, ultrasonic sensors, all that good stuff that you get on the 450 series. You get that in this all-wheel drive articulating model. And I'll be honest with you, we have quite a few of these out there. We love these machines. We were able to do stuff with these, you know, put them in areas where we wouldn't have even attempted to put an automower before because we just knew it wouldn't hold up. It would get stuck all the time. Uh, we'd have to go out there and keep resetting it. And the 435X has held up great for us. Now, a lot of that comes down to the, the time that the dealer has put into the mower to learn how to diagnose it, how to troubleshoot things with it, uh, how to repair it, and, and put in the extra effort to learn the mower. Uh, you know, a lot of customers and a lot of dealers had issues with these mowers, but again, we really liked them. We had a lot of success with them over in Europe. Dealers had a lot of success with them over there. You know, we've got a lot of positive feedback from European dealers, and they've had them for a year longer than we have here in North America, and they're still, you know, saying lots of good things about them and absolutely love them. So uh, that's how we know that it just comes down to whoever you're buying this mower from or whoever you get your te technical support from. You know, if they haven't put the effort into it, you're probably not going to have a good experience with this mower, um, you know, unless you yourself put the, uh, the effort into learning it and how to diagnose it and troubleshoot and all that stuff. But I um, just wanted to kind of clear the air there because this is a good mower. This is a good, reliable mower. It works well. A lot of dealers out there really love this thing. Don't be scared away by the the few negative reviews you hear or the negative experiences you hear about this 435X or the 535, which we'll get. Now we get into the commercial mowers, and uh, it's going to be the same thing as with the other mowers, where you have you have two models that are basically the same. Here we have the 520 and the 520H. Same way with the 430X, 430XH, 450X, 450XH. One is a low cut, which would be the 520. 520H obviously is the high cut. The only difference is that one inch in uh, cutting height. You got two and a half maximum cutting height on the 520, three and a half maximum on the 520H. Uh, this one is rated to handle up to a half an acre of mowing. And again, these are designed to be commercial units. Now you can see there we have the, the three guide wires, five remote start spots, automatic connect, GPS step tracking, GPS mowing capability, ultrasonic sensors. That comes standard on every 500 series auto mower. The big thing you don't get with a 500 series auto mower and why it's better to leave these for commercial use only is there is no keypad, there is no menu screen, nothing like that on the mower. Everything is handled directly through the app. So it makes it a little bit tougher for the homeowner to go out there and be able to reset stuff and change stuff around and, and check things and, and troubleshoot things 
because this isn't going to give you the capability to do this. This is made to go out there and just mow continuously without any kind of interference, you know, from neighbor kids and dogs and stuff like that. It's a commercial unit, so we recommend that these are used only for commercial use when at all possible. We do know some cases where people have had small lawns. They didn't want to pay the extra money for a 430X, or I should say a 430XH. They needed a high cut mower, the 315X just, you know, cut too low. And they bought the 520H and they used that and they're making out with it. But again, you know, you're, you're losing that keypad, you're losing that menu screen. It's something as a, as a homeowner, you're going to want that feature on your mower. So that's why I would advise steering clear of the 500 series for use around your home. The step up from the 520 or 520H would be the 550 or 550H. Again, uh, two and a half inches maximum cutting height on the 550, three and a half on the 550H, rated for uh, about an acre and a quarter as far as the mowing capability. You get all those features that we mentioned that you get on all the 500 series mowers. This is your commercial version of your 450X or 450XH. Everything inside is the same as a 450X or a 450XH. Now, unlike the the 520H, where we were telling you where uh, a consumer might have that small lawn, they needed a high cut mower, there wasn't anything available than a 115H, they didn't want to jump up to the 430XH, so they put a 520H in the lawn and, you know, they're making do with it. No reason to do that with a 550 or a 550H. No reason at all because you have the 450X and 450XH available. Same price, whether it's a 450X, 450XH. 550 or 550H, you know, so no reason to buy one of these to mow around your home. There really isn't, unless you're getting some kind of spectacular deal on it, end of season, or, you know, as a demo or something like that. We advise the 500 series mowers, use them commercially. You don't want them around your home. And the reason for that is, as I mentioned with the 520, 520H, there's no keypad, there's no menu screen on it. You call up somebody for tech support and you say, I have this problem, that problem, whatever. And they're going to say, okay, go to the mower and go in there and push this button and push this button and bring this up in the menu. You have no way of doing it. It's all going to be through the app and it's not going to have the features available on the app that you're going to be able to get from the actual menu on the mower on a 400 series or a 300 series mower. That is why these are recommended for commercial use only. So just like with the 450X and 450XH, the only reason why you wouldn't buy a 550 or 550H for the commercial area you're mowing is because you have steep hills and inclines. That's where the 535 AWD comes in, commercial version of the 435X. It is an all-wheel drive articulating mower, does not have headlights like the 435X does, and just like I said with all the 500 series mowers, there's no menu screen on this one either. What you do get, though, is a third guide wire on the 535, which the 435X does not have. Uh, mowing area is the same as the 435X, and all the other features are the same as the 500 series, where you got the five remote start spots, automatic connect, GPS tracking, GPS mowing capability, and ultrasonic sensors. So there's two other models that are available that we were even hesitant to put in this video. The only reason we're putting them in here and mentioning them is because Sooner or later, somebody's going to comment and say, hey, you left this one out, you left this one out. Those two models are the 550 and 550H e-post mowers. It's your 550 and 550H, but with e-post technology, meaning that it's going to work off of all satellites, GPS, no, no wires in the ground, no boundary wires, no guide wires, none of that stuff. It is all GPS controlled. Now, as you can see here, we have this labeled commercial use only. 100% commercial use only. These are not designed for residential use. Don't even think about it. They do not work well around residential lawns. The reason for that is too many things to, to obstruct the signal coming into the mower. Just like if you have a satellite dish for your TV. You know, it might work good all winter long. In the spring, it works good. Then summer comes along, leaves start to fill out on the trees. Gone. Don't have any signal. You got to go out there and cut half the branches off your tree to be able to get your satellite to work. Same thing with this mower. 
There's a lot more involved in it than that. Now, I'm just giving you the basics here, but it's out there. You commercial guys, you want to know about this? You got a large open area, nothing obstructing a satellite signal. Perfect. Hit us up, let us know, and we'll give you some information on it. But if you're the homeowner that's saying, this is the model I want because I'm afraid a wire is going to get broken, uh uh-uh. Believe me, if you have a problem with this mower and you're a homeowner, it is going to end up costing you more than it would to have somebody come out and fix a broken wire. So that's the lineup for the 2022 Husqvarna Automowers. If you have any questions about any of these models that we talked about here, you can shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, or you can go onto our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. You can find out more information on there about these mowers. You can contact us through the website, and best of all, You can order parts and accessories straight from our website, and you can get technical support from our website. If there's something for your automower that you need, you don't see it on our website, shoot us an email, fill out the contact form on the email. One of those two ways, get a hold of us, and we'll try to get you fixed up. Same way with technical support, you need some help, you got some questions about your your automower, uh, how to diagnose it, how to fix it, or you're looking to buy a new one. Shoot us an email or contact us through our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. We currently have most of the models of automowers that we showed you uh, here in this video in stock now. I'm looking to purchase an automower now. And in the spring, we will have the other models like the 415X, and we'll start ordering in more of them. So if you're looking for an automower, be sure to contact us. We'll get you taken care of. That's going to do it for this video here. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.